Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have three Christmas DIY projects for you guys. So let's get to crafting. DIY number one. Here are the supplies that you'll need for this DIY. Okay, I have some Mod Podge. You can get at Walmart, Apple Barrel Paint also from Walmart, some Dollar Tree Christmas Ribbon. I also have a tag from the summertime from Dollar Tree. And I also have some um, beads from Amazon. Some of those form snowflake stickers from Dollar Tree and window cleans from Walmart. Now the first step that we're going to do, we're going to take our beads and we'll give them a couple of coats of the Apple Barrel White paint. And later you see that I changed my mind about using the beads. I won't be using them. Next step that we're going to do is we're going to take the hanger and the tag, the paper tag off of the wooden tag. And the reason why I didn't cut it off is because I had planned on using it, reattaching it, but you'll see that I changed my mind about that too. So I'm just going to save it for something for later. Okay, now that I have the hanger and the tag off the back, what I'm going to do next is give it a couple of coats of the apple barrel paint. And right here I'm just showing you where I thought I had stopped recording to take a break, but evidently I didn't. So I'm having a snack in between projects <laughs> so microwave popcorn and a drink yes sometimes you think you're recording and you're not and sometimes you're recording and you think you're not and you're not recording you think you are recording yeah yeah whatever but anyway and the sign has been the tag has been painted front and back and I'm going to apply a coat of Mod Podge over the entire front of the sign and I'm peeling off one of the Christmas trees off the pack of window clings and I'm going to attach it to the front of the sign well I decided not to go that route I decided to make it a night scene so what I did was I went back with some of that Crafty Wise chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree to Black. And I also did some paint splatters with my paintbrush with the Apple Barrel White paint. And now I'm going to follow through with what I originally wanted to do with doing the clean. But I'm just, I just changed the color from daytime to nighttime. And I'm going to Mod Podge the Christmas tree to the tag. And then I'm gonna put some of the snowflakes around the um, tag. Okay, now that that has been done, I decided that it needed something else. So what I did was took some of that play school, um, school glue, 
put some at the bottom and took some of the faux snow from Dollar Tree and that glue also came from Dollar Tree and just sprinkled a little bit of the snow at the bottom um, to make it look like the tree was, you know, the ground was covered with snow. And that's just a Q-tip swab that I'm using to spread the glue out. And there it is. I also added just a simple bow um, with the ribbon. And I think this ribbon is so, so cute. It has the words Merry Christmas on it and some snowflakes. It's beautiful. And I think this came out so, so cute, y'all. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. DIY number two. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have um, some of that, um, and I'm messing with my laptop. Sorry, guys. I have some of the jute rope from Dollar Tree, and I have a Christmas pick. I think I got that from Michael's last year and some pine cones and I have a square piece of wood. I don't, this was a sign that I got from Dollar General last year and it had something in the middle. I don't remember what it was but I kept the frame so I'm going to use that but you can make your own frame or you can use a picture frame and um, do this DIY project but if you don't have anything like this. Okay, so I took some of that paint, and that paint is just some paint that I mixed together, and I've had it for a while. I've been using it for many, many pro projects. And I'm gonna take the apple barrel paint in white, and I'm just gonna dry brush it over the entire piece. And whenever I'm dry brushing, I always start out with a light coat. And then I'll, you know, I'll see if I need to put it a little heavier, you know, in whatever spots I want it to be heavier. But I just start out with just a little paint on the paint brushes, focusing mostly on the edges. And then I'll go on from that. See what I mean by when you think you, you're not recording and you are recording and you don't realize it? Well, this was one of those times. Um, I thought I had edited this. You guys didn't really need to see all of this, but there it is. I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm going to take my little sanding block from Dollar Tree, and I really need some more, and just smooth it out and give it a softer look. And I've already taken the pick and cut down the pieces that I want to use. And I'm going to arrange them on the sign and hot glue them down. I'd like to take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. You are so deeply appreciated. And thanks to all my new subscribers. And if you're just stopping by today, hello and welcome. If there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing so YouTube can be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys to the moon and back. I really, really do.
And right here, I'm just holding it down until that glue sets. Um, I had my hot glue on high, so it kind of like melted the pine needles a little bit. So that's why I'm holding it. I should have had my hot glue on low setting, but I didn't. <laughs> Y'all know I was thinking I wasn't recording, right? <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> really, Donna? Okay. Now I'm just going to take the pine, the pine cones and arrange them to my liking and I glue them down and Lord I hope I ain't showing sure y'all holding me holding them down all that long time too well I can see from now on I can't watch a movie anything on while I'm doing a project because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing um, when I'm editing, or at least, Donna, don't watch a movie or something when you're editing your videos. Cause look, look what look what happens. Look, look, oh God. Mm. And I don't know what I'm doing right here. What what am I doing? Okay, finally. And I added a hanger to the back with the jute rope. Um, took a piece of crafts, craft sticks and glued the rope down to the back of the sign. And I decided that it needed something else. So I took one of those reindeer picks from Walmart and they were only 98 cents and they are so, so cute. And they come in red, gold, and silver. So what I did was just pull the pick out of it and it's, um, it just slid, you know, with a little strand, it just slid right out from the reindeer. And I'm going to hot glue my berries in and hot glue the reindeer in. And that'll be it. And I'm just going to use some hot glue to attach the reindeer which I should have used something stronger like some E6000 or Fixol with the hot glue because I plan on hanging this on my door but inside and um I won't really wanted it you know to hold because I want to keep it for years to come but for now the hot glue is gonna have to do and I also decided to take some of that beautiful I guess it's Buffalo Check ribbon from Dollar Tree, and it's wired. I love that wired ribbon. And I just made a simple, simple shoestring bow and hot glued it to the top to add more character to the sign. And there it is. I think this one came out absolutely beautiful, guys. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Yeah, I love this one. This one is a keeper. I'm going to keep it. Oh, 
Okay, guys, that's it. Oh, no. Wait, I have three? Oh, my God. DIY number three. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY. <laughs> I have one of those. It's not a truck. I guess it's like a station wagon. Not a van. But anyway, from Dollar Tree. I have some Dollar Tree spackling. I have some tumbling towel blocks. I have paper from Apple Barrel in Born Red and Classic Caramel. And I also have one of those um, cobblestone Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Oh, God. And what I did was I filled the hole with some of the Dollar Tree spackling. And I'm going to give the little station wagon a coat of the classic caramel paint from Apple Barrel. And I will be painting front and back. Oh. Mm. Okay. I have the station wagon completely painted. I painted the doors and the fenders but the barn red and I also attached the Christmas tree on the top with some hot glue and I decided to make it look like snow has fallen on the um, station wagon since the tree had the little snow on it you know so it all could coordinate together and I put some of the tower blocks behind the wheels so it could stand and there it is and I think this is so, so cute. Oh, look at it, it's so cute. Oh, I love this. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Kind of reminds me of that movie, National Lampoon Vacation. But... I think this is a doable. Okay, is this it? Yeah, this is it, y'all. This is the final reveal. This is everything. Oh, look at the little reindeer nestled behind the burnt the the what a pine cones and pine picks and pine needles, yeah. He's just as cute as he could be nestled in there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing so you can be a part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And always get lost in what you love. Bye-bye.